my favorite animes so this is basically just going to be a top 10 list of my favorite animes keep in mind when i say favorite this is not kind of like the best animes stuff like that this is just in my opinion whenever i think of animes that i remember these are the 10 that always come up in my head well like maybe six of them come up in my head it was really hard trying to think of 10 i've watched so many animes that like i've forgotten so many of them and there's like a lot of new ones that are really good but they haven't been around for as long as some of these other ones have and a lot of these ones on the list are more they're like not as good as some of the other shows but they're just you know sentimental to me. so anyway the first one Toradora this was the first I told you guys in a previous video that this is one of this was the first anime that I actually decided to watch that wasn't just like a big anime on Cartoon Network so stuff like Naruto Dragon Ball uh, Bleach you know all those big shows this was the first one that I decided to watch when it uh, when you know I started getting to anime so it always have sentimental value to me it was a romance anime which for at the time at the time I wasn't really big into romance I was into fucking Johnny Test regular show and all that type of you know all that type of shows I really love that show though I'm not gonna I'm just gonna be doing Breeze because I, I've, I can make whole ass episodes about every one of these animes if I really want to which I might do Bilzebub this one is probably not as uh not as common of an anime to hear because every time people think of Beelzebub they think of like the demon which technically this anime is based on the demon Beelzebub but this one is just like a OP you know OP main character uh, how do I explain it basically the ba there's this baby who latches onto the main character the baby gives the ca main character a lot of powers and the main character basically just acts as his parent Billsy Bob's literally just a demon he, he straight demon timing and he's only a baby so uh if you've never watched the show you should go watch it honestly it's a pretty good watch and it's kind of different to what a lot of animes are like this is one of the more unique ones in my opinion that I've seen I've seen hundreds like hundreds of anime this is it's hard to describe Billsy Bob just go check it for yourself let's go to anime number three Dragon Ball Z I mean what else is there really to say it's Dragon Ball Z usually everyone has it in their list even if it's not as good as other shows it's just very iconic and obviously rest in peace Kira Toriyama again you will be missed but Dragon Ball uh, more specifically Dragon Ball Z that's that's the time that I was watching it I, I was you know too, a bit too old I missed out on Dragon Ball but I got to see you know Z and then Super even though Super's can, the writing sometimes a bit skewed I mean Dragon Ball's never really been about t like story driven all the time just about action it's Dragon Ball the fourth one classroom of the elite now this has always been a favorite for me for me personally just because um as you guys can even tell from my uh youtube uh youtube profile pic i use the main character kiyotaka on Nikoji as my profile pic i love the anime i'm also into the like light novel slash not not the manga just like the light novel so like the original source that's what i'm more into but the anime is is still really good i just like the light novel a lot better but since you know the, the anime is obviously based off the light novel so it is still one of my favorite shows it's good just to see some of the moments that happen in there and that are going to happen in the anime in, in the anime I just want to like put a note on this in the anime uh, Anya Koji is more 
So, okay. In the manga, Anya Koji is like this giddy character. He's, he's just like a normal protagonist, just giddy, really outgoing, always caring, which isn't, <laughs> it was nowhere close to his character, so it got a lot of hate and uh, the manga ended up stopping. The anime leans into, uh, you know, his more malicious side, like he's just a straight cold well, not killer, but he's just cold, you know, his heart's solid, just frozen. He's got like no feeling at all, basically. And they just use his vindictive, malicious side that he definitely has, obviously in a light novel. But that's what they kind of just base the character off. It's just all malicious intent. But in the light novel, he's a mix between the manga and anime. So he does, he, like, if you chooses to he'll be like outgoing and speak out but he prefers to be more in the back and there is times that he will show like his dominance slash militia side if any threats come about that's gonna screw with his plans so he's kind of like a balance in a mix between the manga and the anime which is the character that i like because i don't really especially the manga i don't i, I don't like how they only just tapped into like his this giddy, you know, fake kind of side. That was kind of goofy, I can't lie. But in the anime, I wish they kind of evened him out and just didn't make him just straight, you know, cold heart, cold eyes, everything, but can't ask for everything. So the next one is Kuroko no Basket. Kuroko no Basketball. It's a your basketball anime. Basketball is my favorite sport, if I'm being honest, so. There's animes like Slam, that is a basketball anime, that I haven't watched, I really should watch that. Just because I love basketball, but, you know, for right now, I haven't watched it, so I could have could no basketball. It's literally just superpower basketball. My, my crew play basketball. Like, half of them are, you know, super athletic, have all these wacky abilities, the main character has probably one of the least I guess skilled he's like one of the most the least skilled but he's the you know glue he's the glue to the, all the team it's just super power ba basketball bro like me and Rima literally just hitting half courts full court three pointers uh Kise just being able to copy anyone Aume just making anything he just throws he just throws the ball and it goes in um, Akashi literally just being able to anchor, anchor break anyone, predict anything with his Emperor's eye. And uh, I forgot the tall guy's name with the purple here. He's literally just Jack. He's just built like that. Yeah, it's just a very fun basketball anime. It is very. <laughs> it, it is pretty weird to get into. I've seen some like a. Uh, Especially if you're like not into anime and you like basketball, you watch it, you're just gonna be like, what the fuck is even going on here? But you know, give it give it a try if you can like stuff like High and Blue Lock, you might like it. If you don't like the sport then you probably won't like it, but that's what it is. Shiver shiver See when I wrote this down, I knew I was gonna struggle with saying the shiver chivalry of a failed night. This one is just here just because I remember earlier, so this is like after I watched stuff like Torador, um, Golden Time, I was really in like my, um, <laughs> my romance bag and then there was like Oren High School, stuff like that. Um, Chivalry, Chivalry of a Failed Knight was just an anime that came after all the romance where I was getting more into like action, romance, I was still in that romance back, but then I was also, you know, testing the water on like, you know, more action filled one, not just predominantly romance, and uh, yeah, it just filled that void that I had at that time, I, I probably watched this anime, f like the full thing, at least a good 10 to 15 times, 
like literally from episode 1 to 12 just because um I remember I I liked the anime so much I downloaded the episodes and freak there'd be quite a few times our internet would go out and uh, when I ended up moving from Auckland we originally lived when I was younger uh, we had no, we had no internet for a bit, so I only had uh, the music I downloaded and um, a couple of videos and animes that I actually had, and I literally just watched it many times and didn't really get sick of it. I love the edits from it as well. If you've never seen any of the edits, they're dope, especially the final fight where he goes against the um, council president, whatever the fuck. A really dope anime. I know I haven't said much about it. It's just. It just means a lot to me, you know. I, I can't remember most of it now, but yeah, it's a really good one. Irregular at Magic High School. So this one, I don't know what you call the archetype, but it's like uh, the main character, because the main character's guy and then his sister, some fucking and it says kind of anime, you know, his sister being kind of like, oh, brother, be with me, nah, fuck that shit. But, uh, this, I'm talking more about season one when I say regular, uh, regular Magic High School. Season two was a bit air for me. But the first season, because he's just a badass, like, Stone Cold badass, and he's, he, he's not only just a badass, he's actually good with women. Unlike a lot of these, uh, a lot of these anime protagonists who are just complete pussies. Like, it's annoying because I'm introverted as well. But if I talk to a woman, I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, I don't do it. Like, stop fucking, stop malfunctioning for one second. Pull your dick. Out of your ass and talk to a woman, you actual pussy. And so annoying as well, because a lot of these protagonists are so blind to like the interest of these women. And cuz he knows what he's doing. Like but he's not only a badass, and he's he's not only a badass, where he can fight, he's inventor, he's super smart, he's actually good with women, which is a very hard trait to find in these anime. Yeah, I don't got much to say. Uh, it's literally just one of those animes where it's just an OP character with a sister who likes them, you know, for incest. Great. Japanese love incest. I really need to do a video of where that all started and why that started as a trend. I, I, I don't even know why. I'm probably going to end up doing that. Death Note. This, for a lot of people, is... Death Note... I swear I hear so many YouTubers, so many YouTubers say this was their first anime and their favorite anime. You know, it's good. It's good. Death Note, you know, you can never go wrong with Death Note. There's some um, iconic moments like, I'll take this potato chip and eat it. Iconic. And just the whole um, owl versus, uh, you know, light dynamic. It's just a super big brain anime kind of thing. It's super big, big brain, but at the time you can still keep up with it, even if like you're not, uh, you know, you're not entirely keeping track. Yeah, definitely, man. Everyone knows about it. The next one I have is an anime called Log Horizon, and honestly, I f kind of forgot about it until randomly I just uh, remembered about it. I forgot how I did because I loved this anime when I first saw it. Uh, I watched the whole first season and then I tried to find the second and then it just never had a second season. I think it was something to do with the writer, something like that. I don't really know. Um, I need to redo re research in sec because I think... I, I, I don't know what the fuck happened. Because there was a couple seasons and it just ended out of nowhere and I was just like, what the fuck, I need more. Yeah, Log Horizon, it's, um, there's a kind of, the reason why I like this anime is it was like a game that kind of reminded me of a game that I used to play with my cousin, and I, um, I've been on and off of it for so long. It's a game called Adventure Quest World, or, you know, just 
the brief title AQW I played the shit out of this game and Lower Horizon kind of was a game that was similar to it but you know it, it was it was similar but it's not really similar but it was close enough to where I just I really liked it it just reminded me of the game bring back bring back a lot of memories with my uh, cousin shout out modern eye his name is modern eye by the way I think he's over in Australia so yeah shout out to cuzzy and uh, I just like the uh, like the anime for that I don't really have any other reason I just like the look of it the characters and the memories that I associate with it and last but not least my last favorite anime is Boku no Pi I mean a Naruto do not watch Boku no Pico <laughs> please don't I don't even know if that's up anymore just never search up Boku no Pico don't ask why Naruto I'm talking more about the Shippuden era because this that's when I started really getting into it I saw like bits of Naruto like the tunings yeah, and broccoli for Skara, all those kind of little things uh, as the show was going on but I only really started watching heats when it came into Shippuden and their first ever um, I don't know if it was the first intro song or the second it was the one where like um, Naruto's just running and it's just like a it's kind of like a rap Akatsuki it shows all the Akatsuki um, all like the different teams and it's just Naruto running it's one of the first intros in Shippuden or that that intro just got me hyped I loved it absolutely loved it um how does it go it goes dun, 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 dun. I can't I don't know any of the words man I'm clap I can't think of it I'm not gonna embarrass myself but Naruto specifically Naruto Sh Shippuden I'm telling you if I did not watch the episode episodes that they went I probably wouldn't have made it to the end of Naruto Shippuden without skipping like 200 episodes because I was watching the filler on TV as well there's a lot of filler especially when it came to the war arc there was so much flashbacks it was really annoying but Naruto is just another good anime it's one of the big three so everyone's watched it let's be honest everyone's watched it everyone's at least watched an episode for most anime people you know it would be Naruto not, might not be the best but it's always in your heart everyone loves either some Bleach, One Piece or Naruto there's a lot of iconic power ups you know well and there's a lot of power ups like Susano uh, any kind of Bijou stuff like that then there's like the Sharding Gun, Rainy Gun uh, stuff like the eight gates there's just a lot of iconic things that people will remember iconic characters like Madara especially Madara speech a lot of people use that as like a gym motivation stuff like that it's just Naruto you know shit it's just Naruto so uh, that's my top 10 favorite animes and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed make sure to put your list you don't have to do 10 you can maybe do three if you, you know you don't have to do 14 and they don't have to be in order because it's super hard to put them in order just put your top three anime in the comments uh you can maybe put a description on why you love them or just you know just put the comment i don't mind it'll be good to see what you guys are into and yeah hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night wherever you are and uh love you peace